In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stop trips tied in the best offense in Madden. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day right here on our YouTube page. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe. We post new videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And my commitment to you guys for 2021 is that I will never miss a live stream and will never miss an upload for the entire year of 2021. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, guys, I want to share with you how I would stop the best offense in Madden, which is this trips tight end. And really, the, the play that we want to talk about specifically is the play PA counter go. It's one of the best plays in Madden every single year, and it's no, no exception in this season. Now, first and foremost, for your coaching adjustments, I have auto flip on. Auto alignment is set to default. Ball in air defense is to play receiver. Quarterbacks on balance. Option defense is to conservative. Flats are at 25 yards and Curl flats are at five yards. Now I'm in the 46 playbook and I'm actually running my nickel 335 wide ebook that I just released. So if you want to get the full defense, defensive ebook, it shows you how to stop bunch, strong close, trips tied in, and the U trips from New England, as well as gives you really, really good pressure defenses, shows you how to stop every single run in Madden 21, and gives you a really, really good goal line defense. One of the most simple and yet effective defenses to run in Madden 21. So if you want to get that full 3 through 5 wide scheme, go ahead and hit that description. There is a link in the description that says pick up my nickel 3 through 5 wide offensive or defensive scheme and you can pick it up right in the description of this video. All right, so the audibles that we're going to set here for this is the Mike Blitz 3 and that's going to be our number one defense against trips tight end. And I just want to give you the simple defense that I think is super super effective. So we're going to go for come out in 335 normal so we can audible down to 335 wide and get safeties at the linebacker position. So we're going to audible to 333 or I'm sorry, 335 wide right here. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line. We're going to audible to the mic blitz. We're going to shift our defensive line to the side of the running back just like this. And then from there what we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. We're going to put our outside corner on the right in a um, cloud flat zone. We're going to place our safety on the right in a deep half zone and then we're going to take this linebacker on the right put him in a curl flat zone remember those are at five yards and then on the left side of the field we're going to do one of two things we're either going to man up this right side guy on the circle receiver or we're going to just put him into a uh, vertical hook now if they're running more hitches and little underneath routes we'll put him in a vertical hook but oftentimes I actually really like to go ahead and just man this linebacker up on this slot uh, slot receiver on the left side and what you'll see is this is probably everybody's favorite setup is this from this PA counter go play. Like to streak the tight end, maybe they'll take their running back and put him on a little flat route, and then they're going to run essentially a, a slant and flat combo, just like this over here. And we're going to use this guy right here. And I'm just going to run this play, and I want to show you kind of how this really does a good job at stopping pretty much everything they want to do uh, with your user and kind of how you can really take away a lot of things on the field and really force them to have to either take a check down read um, or, you know, basically eat a, a coverage sack or something like that. Now, oftentimes, you'll get a lot better shed than we just got right there, but I want to show you an instant replay kind of what happens on this play. So because we have this Mabel coverage here on the right side, you see that we've taken away the quick route to the back. We've also taken away um, any chance they have at hitting this crossing route. So you'll see at the snap of the ball, we've got box coverage. Basically, we've got man coverage here on this guy. And I'm kind of using him as well a little bit just to take that away. And if they throw the ball right about there, you see I, my, my uh, corner that's in the cloud flat is going to be able to jump that route to Tyreek Hill. So at about this point right here, I, I need to make a little bit better of a decision and go ahead and jump onto the slant route there. End up choosing not to, which the slant, if they really wanted to wait, if they waited on it, you would see that it does get open kind of late in the play, right in this little position right here. So that is something that they would have. But again, that's where your user is going to come into handy uh, for this. Now, one of the things I want to show you is how this does really, really well against a couple of different plays from the trip side in. So we're going to go to the verticals play uh, really quickly here, and I'm just going to show you kind of the same setup. So we're going to put that outside corner on the right on a cloud flat. The safety is going on a deep half. The linebacker on the right side or the left side of the screen is going to go either in man coverage on the slot receiver or he's going to go into a vertical hook. Okay. And then we're just going to use a right in here. So we've got basically cover two on the right, cover three on the left. And what you're going to see here is snap the ball. 
I'm just going to use her right here and basically take this all away. And as you can see, pretty much everything is taken care of from the trips with your user in the middle of the field. And then again, you're kind of counting on the fact that you're going to get a shed in three to five seconds. And all you got to do is hold up for that long. Now, if we go into instant replay here, I'm just going to show you kind of how this coverage works. Now, a lot of you would probably be expecting the seam route to be wide open in this play. But as you can see right here, it's really not that open, especially with the fact that that safety is on that same side. It's going to leave that not really that open. Back here on this side right here, um, I could have, you know, kind of done a couple things differently with my user, but just kind of took care of some things. Uh, really what I probably should have done was take that running back. Um, you see that they do have this little crosser right here. Um, that's like the only thing that they have open, but the problem is that's where your user is going to kind of be on this play if you see something like that ran on you. Now I want to show you pretty much everybody's uh, favorite zone beater from Trips Tight End, and it's this setup right here. And this is why we like to man that uh, we like to man that guy up. So if I go to uh, Mike Blitz 3 right in here, and what you're going to see is, again, that shift right there, and then we're just going to basically put our outside guy in a vertical hook, and then we're going to have that cover two on the right. And what you'll notice here is this is going to take away everything on the right side. And pretty much on the left side, there's really nothing there. You see either throw that they have. Obviously, I was able to complete it there, but I really shouldn't have it. If I click onto the, the defender, it's probably going to be an interception. Let me show you what I'm talking about in instant replay. So this is like one of everybody's favorite zone beaters here. Now, what I needed to do is put that running back on a swing route. But basically, I'll use the tight end until he cuts to the outside. But if you take a look here on this play... This defense really does a decent job at pretty much taking care of everything that the offense is going to do. Obviously, they do have the smoke screen for maybe five yards, but that's pretty much it. Um, everything else is pretty much locked down tight, and you're going to be able to you know, pretty much easily um, take care of what they're trying to do as an offense. So that is one of my favorite defenses to pretty much take away a lot of the key things that Trips Tight End is going to want to do on the offensive side of the ball. Now, if you want to get the full defensive guide, that link is in the description. Also, if you would like to get free full schemes, not the 35 wide, but other schemes that I have, including the Gun Bunch, the Single Back Trio, the Ace Slot Offset, the Big Nickel Over G, and more free schemes every single week, I have my text message membership. All you got to do to sign up for that is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. That number is also in the description, as well as it's on the top left-hand corner of your screen right now. So just shoot me a text message. It's completely free to sign up. We have several hundred people that are a part of this. It's not a scam, nothing crazy. Uh, we're just trying to give you guys more content, better content, and consistently give you guys the best because you deserve the opportunity to get better at this game. So that's going to do it for today's video. Just a quick reminder on the way out, if you have not picked up the 335 wide defensive ebook yet, we I believe it is probably the easiest defense to run in Madden 21. Very simple and very easy to adjust. A lot of pro players use it. It's a very, very strong and very, very good defense. So if you haven't picked it up yet, I would encourage you to do it. We're running kind of a special sale here for the first couple weeks of January. So it's just 15 bucks. The link is in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I also want to see if you guys will come join us tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.